Hi, thank you for tuning in to my latest video. Today we're going to be doing a huge empties video. Look at this huge, ginormous bag. It is full of empties. I want to try to do empties videos quarterly. I don't use enough products to do them monthly. However, I didn't get to it and hence why there is a ton of stuff in here. Um, but let's not dilly dally because this is going to be hopefully not too long of a video. So let's just go ahead and get started. There's a ton of hair products in the empties. I go through hair products a lot because hair is like kind of the thing I like the most. Um, anyway, so first item is Living Proof and it is an overnight protector. This is a, like a deluxe sample that I received. I love this product and I definitely will be repurchasing a full size. And this is the overnight treatment, sorry. The next item is another item that I love. This is Holy Grail Status. This is the Aveda Black Melva Shampoo. I use it because I have dark hair. Um, it smells really great. It keeps my hair from getting like brassy, orange, red, you know, lucky. Um, so yes, love it. Uh, this is the Way Volume shampoo i do not like this i could not wait to get it done with it i'm sorry i know that's an unpopular opinion um but i will not be repurchasing this this is the biolage volume bloom shampoo um, i love this shampoo it's like so uh, <laughs> such a classic shampoo really um i love the smell however i'm not sure if it's really great for color treated hair um so I probably will not be repurchasing it. Um, not that it's a bad shampoo, I just think my needs have changed. So this is the Aveda Color Conserve um, Conditioner. I did not like this because the smell is awful. I will not be repurchasing that. Um, this is the Chlorine um, Shampoo with Citrus Pulp purity and vitality it's supposed to be kind of like a clarifying shampoo um, it's super gentle it is um, I would not call it clarifying I would not repurchase this okay <sighs> this is a product I love I was gonna purchase it again at the Sephora VIB sale um, Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, we'll see. Um, this is the I don't know if you can see the writing, but it is the charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. I have used all of this up. I love it. It's really great because I can my hair gets kind of I get a lot of build up. And this is just just so nice and it smells amazing it smells kind of like minty delicious smell um i definitely would purchase this again i am working on a post about leave-in conditioners i have an old one but i'm updating it because i've tried so many new ones that i like better than what was in the old post anyway um this is the Living Proof Perfecting Spray. Love it, would repurchase it for sure. And this is something I received in a birch box a long time ago. It is the Beauty Protector, um, Protecting Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. This is really great. Um, I would definitely purchase this again. This is the Rosarco Milk reparative leave-in conditioning spray. You will notice I have a lot of their stuff and I really like this one. Um, I do like their, their spray on um, mask a little bit better, um, but I do like this. So, um, but I repurchase it. Uh, I probably wouldn't repurchase this just because they have a they have a product that does kind of the same thing that I like better. Um, this is the Dr. Jart Clear Skin Rubber Mask. It is super creepy. 
looking. Um, it doesn't look so creepy when you do it yourself. Um, it is a two-part mask. It works really great. I would definitely try some other varieties of this mask. So I would also repurchase this one as well. This is the Karuna Karma kit. This is one of my favorite mask sets. I would definitely repurchase. Ooh, Glam Go, the Glam, the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask. I've actually not tried any of the like traditional masks from Glam Glow, but I have tried this one and it was really fun and it also made my skin feel great. So I would definitely purchase this again. Okay. This is the Burt's Bees Brightening Daily Facial Cleanser with Daily Extract. Um, some other YouTuber said that she used this. Um, I purchased it. I bought it. I loved it. I will be buying this again. Actually, I've already purchased another one. Oh my goodness. This was a sad day when I ran out of this product. This is the Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion age defying exfoliator this is like 79 dollars for a full size um so i typically try to get the small ones because it's more affordable um i will buy these like off of ebay or i will pick the 500 point perk from sephora just so that i can get this love it love it um I'm trying out more exfoliating products currently right now, so I'm not gonna be repurchasing this as of yet. But currently, it is like the top contender for um, favorite product in this category. This is also another holy grail item. It is the P Premier Crew eye cream. I love this. It is kind of expensive, not really for an eye cream, but comparatively, you know, if you're on a budget, this would be considered expensive because it's like $100 for a full size. I usually like hunt down the smaller packages. I've purchased this like three or four times. So I will probably be purchasing this again. We'll see. Again, I am trying out some more eye products. Um, yeah. Ooh, this is another product that I love. It is the Beauleaf. Whoop. So this is the Beauleaf Aqua Balm. This is great for combination skin because it is not overly oily. I love it. I will definitely repurchase. This is a, another hair product. It is the R & Co. Um, Oblivion clarifying shampoo. I did not find it very clarifying. I would not repurchase. Ah, oh, here's my real techniques. Sponge, it is disgusting. I, I have already repurchased this. Love this sponge. Very affordable. Okay. Another belief product that I was sad that I ran out of and it is the Hungarian water essence. Um, I like this. For when I feel like I need a little bit more moisture but not a ton more so I will put this on and then I will let it kind of like soak in and then I'll put my moisturizer on top of it on days where I'm feeling a little more oily I will just use this and not use a moisturizer at all this product womp womp I didn't even use it all it's it's not even really considered an empty I guess it's considered a declutter and this is the UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil by Sunday Riley. This stuff broke me out like crazy. This is a teeny tiny size of the Pixie Glow Tonic. I love Pixie, but I've actually transitioned to the Rose Tonic, which I think might be a little bit better for my skin type, but this is a great product. I won't be purchasing it again. One, they've sent me a huge bottle of it. Um, which was really nice of them, but also because I'm going to be incorporating the rose tonic into my routine. This is a makeup item, but it's just a foil packet. And this is the NARS liquid blush in the color orgasm. And this was just a reminder that I want to try to purchase this. 
Um, I haven't purchased it yet though, um, just because I'm kind of doing like a drugstore blush um, series sometime. Um, and this is obviously NARS, it's not drugstore. That is my empties for the quarter. Let me know if you like empties videos. Um, it's kind of nice, I think, because you can see what someone actually used all of. Um, of course, I'd love it if you'd leave me a thumbs up. And so you don't miss any of these videos, go ahead and give me a subscribe and I will see you next time.